Washington. Including Nushin Rashidian is the co-founder of Cannabis Wire and the co-author of A New Leaf, The End of Cannabis Prohibition. She's in Los Angeles. So Nushin, marijuana has never been legal according to federal law. What, if anything, does this memo change in terms of policy? Well, this memo directs uh, all attorney generals to enforce federal law, so uh, it remains to be seen whether they will follow that. Right now, the attorney general of Washington and several other states have said that they're going to stand by the will of the voters. So I think we're gearing up for some pretty intense legal battles. Well, in a tweet, Democratic Senator Kirsten Gillibrand of New York has accused the attorney general of cowing to the pharmaceutical industry. What does his memo mean for medical marijuana use? It remains to be seen what it means for both medical and recreational users. I imagine that uh, he could take two different stances altogether because the support for medical cannabis is uh, very high among both Republicans and Democrats. And I think it's going to be much more difficult to crack down on patients than it will be on uh, adult recreational use consumers. Well, marijuana sales in Colorado topped $1 billion in 2017 generating more than $225 million in taxes for the state. Can such a large industry be wiped out? I don't think so. I mean, I think the big thing is that this could cause a lot of uncertainty, a lot of chaos, but the industry is not going to go anywhere. Um, this, we had a federal crackdown back in 2011, and you know, a year later we had Colorado and Washington legalize cannabis. So I think that the industry uh, may be a little messy for a while, but it's going to keep going. Well, this memo was released four days after California legalized sales of marijuana to adults. What do you make of the timing of the attorney general's orders? I think a lot of people are trying to draw a connection between California and the memo, but I think it's a coincidence. I think that Jeff Sessions has said since he was appointed that he was going to you know, undo Obama-era policies on cannabis, that he was going to bring back the rule of law. And so I think this is just part of the course and is not, you know, it's not the beginning and it's not the end. He's going to be rolling out a lot more, I anticipate. All right, Nushin Rashidi in Los Angeles. Nushin, thanks very much.